Albert Einstein's famous theory of general relativity has endured for more than 100 years and accurately describes how gravity works in the universe. His theory has withstood numerous tests in both our solar system and galaxy and even proven its worth beyond the bounds of the Milky Way. So surely we're done with all this testing of relativity? The short answer is no. Back in 1998, two teams of astronomers discovered that the universe was not only expanding, but accelerating. And this created a problem. There was no matter or energy in Einstein's theory that would make the universe accelerate. But then his theory describes gravity really well for much of the universe. So something's got to give. Are we missing a form of energy? Or is there something wrong with Einstein's gravity physics? To solve this problem, some cosmologists proposed a new and as yet unknown form of energy called dark energy. You can't actually see it in any images, hence the term dark energy. But we can see its effect through its influence on the expansion of space. However, some theorists suggest that the accelerating universe could be better explained by changes in the nature of gravity at cosmological distances, meaning billions of light years away. And guess what? Astronomers from the Evolutionary Map of the Universe Cosmology Project, or EMU Project, which includes me, have been collecting data on galaxies located at cosmological distances. And there's some weird physics going on that we're completely puzzled by. So perhaps the theorists are onto something. Perhaps Einstein's theory breaks down once it reaches a certain point in the universe. What this all boils down to is we really need to test general relativity all the way out to those faraway galaxies at the greatest distance thus far. Let's recap on relativity to help make some sense of how we test the theory. Einstein's theory predicts that massive objects in space curve space-time. And remember that space-time refers to our four-dimensional universe. The more massive the object, the greater the curvature and the greater the gravitational field. This means that light travelling through a massive object's gravitational field will have its trajectory bent, which affects how the observer perceives the position of the light source. Astronomers call this effect gravitational lensing. For example, our Sun is massive enough to curve space-time. So light travelling toward us from a distant star will be bent or deflected by the sun's gravitational field. One of the ways we can test relativity is therefore during a total solar eclipse. The theory predicts that a star located directly behind the edge of our sun will appear to be in a different position during the eclipse because the sun's gravity will bend its light. And it's entirely measurable. In 1919, Astronomers Arthur Eddington and Frank Dyson used a total solar eclipse to test a prediction of general relativity for the first time. They discovered that light coming from a star located directly behind the sun's edge was bent exactly as Einstein predicted. It was not only a huge success, but a scientific revolution. One of the best ways to study ultra-distant galaxies is with a radio telescope array, which is a group of telescopes that function together like one powerful telescope. An array is ideal because of its ability to probe deeper into the universe than other telescopes with greater sensitivity and higher resolution. This means we can see the fine detail in our galaxy images. Thankfully, we have access to the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP telescope in Western Australia, which can probe three quarters of the sky. You may even remember former Blabcoats guest and ASCAP project scientist, Dr. Lisa Harvey-Smith, talking about the incredible prowess of the radio telescope arrays. Our grand plan involves using the ASCAP telescope to compare millions of galaxies located near the edge of the observable universe, billions of light years away, with millions of galaxies located less than a billion light years away. 
One of the key things we're aiming to see is if the radio waves from the centres of the distant galaxies will be bent and gravitationally lensed by the nearby galaxies. Just like how the Sun bent the distant starlight during the 1919 total solar eclipse. If this happens, it means that general relativity physics holds up at cosmological distances. And we'll know if it happens because the distant galaxies will appear a little bit closer than they should. If we don't see any deflection in light, however, or if there is a distortion but the amount doesn't conform to Einstein's theory, it means the rules of relativity have been disobeyed. General relativity would no longer apply at cosmological distances, and this means a game change. It means the nature of gravity would be different for larger scales, just like some theorists have suggested. And perhaps a new or modified gravity physics will explain the accelerating universe once and for all. Either way, we would have to change Einstein's theory for larger scales, and it hasn't been touched for more than 100 years. So would this mean a scientific revolution? The short answer is yes. <laughs>